questions for those of some work before the open mic begins. Um, we have for your demonstration, bringing his devotion to the spoken word, we have Richard Atkinson. Okay. Richard was raised by nuns in a haunted house and discovered Charles Bukowski Lane. He started writing himself and had his first collection published last year here and in America. It's called Two Full Stops from Gravity. Richard Atkinson.
When things do damn shopping, all get too much in love. Busy Friday, people shopping in Oldham. I find a false reason to continue not being. Not just man, he had her on the ground, he was on top. A girl kid stood by, finger on lips, not sure. Most pretended they couldn't even see, see them. Too busy shopping anyhow. A man wearing an old beat up leather jacket, leather jacket, scruffy t-shirt, and her had her pinned down. She made the yelping sounds. Hair stood across face. Tangled, web-like, no features to see. Almost sobbing. Could only see the other. Could only see one other grown-up during the tragic events. Then she lay on the ground, still. Shifting, short-haired man. Stood a bit away, sheepishly. Thumbs and jeans. Head high. Trying to hide an evil-looking grin. Pretending he had nothing to do with the lady on the floor. Glancing up at her occasionally. She folded her arms. And playing, then, he fold, then he folded his arms and playing ignored her like Euripides. Actually, he's interested in the sale, sale, the sale signs across the way. Must be crazy, I thought. Shoppers passed oblivious, walking either side quickly. Those smiles on their straight jacketed laced up, sewn up, clout tight faces. Eventually she got up, straightened herself out, went over and picked up the kid. She still had a finger to her to, to mouth and poked the man in the stomach. Hello Henry, you know all I'm ticklish. We'll sort it out somehow. Then they all laughed and quit shopping forever. Cheers. For the L in my love. I'm something you forgot ever existed. I'm the spider in your bar. I'm the fly in your suit. I'm the sadness you forgot you had. I'm the fly on your wall. I am death speaking loudly when you thought you had forgotten about it again. I'm minus zero when you thought it couldn't get, could not get any colder. I'm climate change when you thought there was none. I'm the silent majority talking loudly for a change. I'm the Great looking book, um, and the great books you never read, the one that could have changed your life, could have changed how you look and feel about your life. That life. And the age you would be if you were not quite as old as George Clooney. And the bloke on the bench with mental health issues you never ever notice. And the problem part of the city you fear to tread. I'm not that old and hooked on booze, aching to get away from all those that are dead inside. I'm the film that changed your life. I'm the poem that made you laugh, smile, cry, or just like another one. I'm the capital F in feeling. I'm the capital T in thought and thinking. I'm the capital W in willpower. I'm the capital C in cooperation. I'm the capital T in tenderness. I'm the capital D in deceit. I'm the capital G in grief. I'm the capital F in sorrow. I'm not you unless I loved you, big time. Then I might be, and you would be the L in our love. Yeah. If I can remember being in love, it's a bit like being hypnotised, so I guess that, that's where this comes from. If I can remember. <laughs> love stuff and fat lemons. You said you'd hypnotise me. Fat lemons! And whenever I wrote a pie and thought about sex, fat lemons! I was like, fat lemons in capitals. I not realise I was doing it, I'll see it after and think how gorgeous she is. Of course I knew she was killing. Fat lemons! My gosh, she's coming. I'm just not the type to be in France, put under. Fat lemons! I want to be near her magnificence again. Fat lemons, fat lemons! <laughs> she can't fool me, pull the wool over. Fat lemons! My eyes. Her eyes are deeper than fat lemons! A large jug with a black hole in. 
simply wore a square of couch. You can't help but fall in. Hello, Steve.